Hello friends, this is Shoman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. To conclude the series of reinforced thermoplastic pipes, RTP, today I will have the last video. After this, I will start RTR, another important extensively used non-metallic pipelines. RTP is a non-metallic pipeline. So, do we need cathodic protection? Because the connectors are metallic? Let us discuss where it is required or it is not at all required. Cathodic protection, some installation may require to use cathodic protection for additional corrosion protection of the metallic connectors in RTP pipeline. CP is usually limited to pipe to pipe connectors but may also be required for end connectors when connecting to an external non-metallic piping system. CP from most third-party supplier will work with RTP connectors. CP generally consists of a clamp that is attached around the connector body that is then electrically connected to a bag of anode. To install, CP manufacturer's guideline must be followed. The general steps when CP is required, the anode should be installed either vertically or horizontally close to but not touching the connector. The anode should be installed at the same depth as the connector. The anode cable should be placed in direct contact with metallic clamp. The clamp or wear connection should be solid and the whole clamp and connector then completely wrapped with a corrosion resistant type. The anode should be completely saturated with water before backfilling. Now, I will share my experience what we did our RTP pipeline. We got a manufacturer confirmation that cathodic protection is not required for specially coated RTP fittings. So this avoided a lot of complication, expenses and time for us as a contractor. RTP connectors are supplied here as carbon steel with special electroless nickel coating which is shortly abbreviated as ENC for corrosion protection for fluid exposed or wetted parts. The ENC coating is as per ASTM B733 with SC4 deposit for severe service rating. All external parts are supplied with a zinc phosphate coating for external corrosion protection from soil, water, etc. All connectors are further wrapped with polycan tape after installation for additional protection against external corrosion. So, cathodic protection is not needed for connectors before or after installation in our case. Also, we need to keep these connectors open from backfilling soil until hydro testing is completed. This is to ensure that leak if any will be detected by the visual inspection. So make sure if you are part of any review of RTP pipeline before ordering the things you should request this type of coating and protection to avoid the huge expense of cathodic protection which will make your schedule very quick for completion of RTP pipeline. Metallic CS risers, this is the both end of the RTP pipeline in most of the cases. In some cases, we use chute to uh, make the non-metallic pipe itself connect with the above ground pipeline. But in our case, it was metallic CS riser. Remember, act as a metallic pipeline, so you need to protect those lines with cathodic protection. In terminations, there are three common methods of terminating the line pipe. Let us discuss. First of all, surface tying. In this configuration, the pipe is brought to the surface in a gradual bend and tied in with a connection. The bell hole has to be prepared with a suitable bait shape to ensure that the pipe is not exceeding its allowable bend radius. Rigid riser. In this configuration, the pipe is terminated subsurface to a rigid riser. The riser can be coated and RTP connector is often in oil neck or a flange. Pipeline departing ends, metallic riser shall be protected as I said with cathodic protection following the same rules of CS pipeline. The RTP should be protected against overload at road crossings location by installing it inside steel casing or placing concrete slab. Sometime concrete collars are getting used in the wadi areas which is prone to flooded or washed away berms in lowlands which is called wadi in 
gulf areas. Steel casing should be protected with CP. So guys, it is clear the main non-metallic pipeline RTP does not require any CP. The connectors are metallic if it is protected with special type of coating as I discussed. It does not need any CP protection but both ends if uh, these are metallic CS riser, these will be treated as a metallic pipeline and it has to be protected with cathodic protection. Hope this idea of cathodic protection is clear with your mind. If you like the way of my teaching, please, please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to share and hit the like button to inspire me more. Signing off, Soman. Meet you in the next video. Thank you.